you are. Are you settling in all right? Huh? Who are you? What are you? Am I... Am I dead? Don't tell me you're surprised. You're overreacting. W what is this place? And who are you again? So many questions. But I'm not the one to answer them. I am to meet you and take you to the one who you should really ask. So why don't we set out on our journey? Keep it up, one step at a time. Don't mind what you see here. There's absolutely nothing to look at. This place looks familiar, eh? I've, I've never seen it before. Calling something familiar around these parts would be rather far-fetched. Mm, never mind. You'll remember soon. Come in and go upstairs. What will I find there? This lighthouse will lead you home. It's hard to explain. You'll know it when you get there. Don't rush it. What I like about this place is that there's absolutely no reason to hurry. Time means nothing here. Thanks for the tip. You're welcome. I'll be waiting for you on the other side. How weird. This place seems... so familiar. I think I'm beginning to understand. How many times have I seen you? Too many to count, right?
Do not linger. The master is waiting. He's been waiting for quite a while. He can wait some more. After all, time means nothing here. You said it yourself. At least somewhere it's true. You're right on this one. It's hard to disagree. In any case, keep it up. We're almost there. It seems this place is dead. Not because it died, but because it never had a chance to live. It has its own charm, though. That's for sure. don't seem to be in a hurry. It's good to see you again. I bet you have a lot of questions. You're the master, I gather. Yeah, you're absolutely right. My memories about this place are starting to come back, but these are just random pieces. Sensations, even. Everything I see around myself should probably confuse me. Even the fact I'm hearing your voice, but don't see you. No. Not necessarily. You've seen everything countless times. And you've done everything you should. Well, almost everything. But we'll talk about this later. Now, you can ask your questions. Hmm, questions. I love them. Let's start with something simple. Who are you? <laughs> You call this a simple question? Well, I can offer you several answers. I am you. I am your death. I am your creator. I am your creation. Choose whichever you like best. They are all true. What does that mean? It doesn't make any sense. If you expect me to look for a meaning when there's none, or get it out of you word by word, think again. Since it's you who wants something from me, would you be so kind as to say what it is? Ah, uh, you are right, of course. I'd better tell you the whole story. Sorry, I could not help it. Come closer to our throne. I think it'll be best if we talk face to face. So, we meet again, face to face. Speaking of which, your face fits this place perfectly, as I see. That's right. Since you already know you're dead, let's start with your birth. You see, we were together once. One body, with no name, no age, no beginning, and no end. But one day, something happened. Even I cannot explain it. Perhaps we got bored. What's important is that we decided to split. This is how you and I became to be. Keep talking. Oh, I'm glad to hear you're intrigued. Yes, we ceased to be the absolute. Each of us had our own shortcomings and limitations, but we also found new opportunities. In other words, we gained some features inherent only to each of us. I managed to create our first world. It was poor and wretched, but it was there. You lived your first life in. You even gathered some building blocks for it. I used these blocks to update the first version. I improved it, making it more extensive and diverse. This building material is your life. Your every sigh and every impression. I collect them every time you come here. 
That's why you almost don't remember anything. That was our agreement. Wait, are you trying to say that all my life that I've lived, all the people I've loved, is no more than an illusion? Has my life been unreal? Unreal? As you know, the very concept of reality can exist only in the world we created. By the way, it was one of the biggest and strongest blocks you ever brought me to help with construction. Will it keep on living without us? Yes, it definitely will. Only, it doesn't really matter. Since we are immortal, you know. So, does that mean I have to be reborn? That hasn't happened yet. So what's the problem? Ah, uh, yes. This is the tricky part. But I'm not ready to lay all my cards on the table just yet. I can only say that I don't collect all your memories. You know, some things you see, some impressions you get at some points in your life, make you change your very perception and understanding of it. So, as we agreed, I leave these to you. And before I ask the ultimate question, the question thanks to which we are here today, you must refresh these memories in your mind. I think I have no choice. Although I don't need it. Tell me what I have to do. There is a portal behind your back. Enter it. I'll be nearby. You won't see me, but you can hear me. I'll help you. What is this place? Hmm. Maybe you'll tell me. It's your life after all. I'm not sure. I need to look around first. Interesting. So, what is it then? This is my childhood. This is how I imagine my pillow fort. The coziest place on earth. Every time I got in with a book in my hands, the rest of the world ceased to exist. At least when I was immersed into the world of a story unraveling before me. Ah, sounds fascinating. Yet another cozy corner in the world. I do. Only I imagine this place much later when I grew. The feelings are completely different. But the purpose is still the same. 
I've always been keen on good stories. I imagine myself to be a great traveler, an adventurer. Every time I did, I was one. I lived in those stories. I breathed them. And each time my imagination brought me here. Stories are your passion. That's the reason why you, not me, keep living these lives. Come on, keep up. You're almost there. I'll race you. Who was it? Who is that elusive ghost? Ah, that's your dream. Such a beautiful creature. Yeah, it is a dream. I know why we're here. It was then, in my childhood, while I had my head buried in all those books, when I felt the taste of fantasy. That's when each story I read unfolded into a whole new world. When you're engrossed in a good book while having a cup of freshly brewed coffee, it seems that time itself comes to a stop, don't you think? What fascinates me even more is that there were thousands of such stories. I remember. This was the place where all fantasies materialized. All it took was reach for my dream, reach for you. This old oak still remembers all your adventures. Why don't you have a go on the swing as you used to? right there in front of you. It's your palace. Your fortress. Yeah, I recognize it. I would stay here forever. I know you would. But I'm afraid it's not possible. Sorry. It's a pity we left that place behind. That's why I really felt the taste for life for the first time. Behind. Ahead. These words make little sense here, you know. But 
Let's not get carried away. We need to move forward. As you say. What a weird place. Chains tied to odd looking masts. Portholes hidden in rocks. All these skulls. Why? Why all this? All this is your memories. You'll soon see what it's all about. This atmosphere, all the freshness and coolness in the air, it's such a familiar feeling. Freedom is the first thing that comes to mind. I like this place. The world you live in is too vain. There's too much bustle, too many thoughts and worries. And what's the point in all this? That's not how I see it. It's just that in all this swirling, you need to find the strength to swim in the right direction. You might be right. You should know better. After all, I only bring you the building blocks to extend reality. Guess we've reached the top now. Let's check it. Of course, it didn't used to look like this when I saw it, but after all, it's not the real thing. This is how I remember it. Or rather, this is how you sensed it. I think we need to get on the ship's deck. Look, I think there's someone there. Although, I'd rather walk along the shore for a while. You're right! That's where we have to look for things we came here for. But there's no need to hurry. There's no time here, remember? When I first saw it, it didn't look like a pile of rustling scrap metal at all to me. What I saw was an ancient sea monster, thrown ashore, which was too old to go back into the water. It wasn't just a trick of the eye. Hey, 
Sailor, how's it going? It seems a storm is coming. We need to check if everything's fastened. I feel we're in for a bumpy ride. What's he talking about? This ship has run aground, and it looks like it won't go anywhere anytime soon. Are you sure? Look at him. He doesn't seem to agree with you. Well, for him, this ship is still up and running. The moment I saw it on the shore when I took it for some sea master, it was then I realized there was absolutely no difference between fiction and reality, between the living and the dead. This is a bold thing to say. Exactly. You see, I can use my imagination to give any object, any notion, the meaning I want. All those stories from books, all the worlds they revealed before me weren't the only way out anymore. I realize that I can create these worlds for myself. You've always understood this. Yes, always. But only now it gave me a sense of freedom. This old sailor's in denial. He doesn't want to see his ship as run aground. Exactly. There's only one snag here. You can't give random meaning to random things, or else the world will turn into chaos, at least when it comes to yourself. But there's always a choice. And it only depends on me. Hey, sailor, what are you muttering about? There's a storm brewing on the horizon. It'll catch up with us soon. Our friend's heart is wrecked. Get down to the engine room and check how it is. Come on, get a move on. Look, it really is alive. It looks like it's the heart of the ship. It is completely dead. Can we fix it? We can do anything. Close your eyes. You know what to do. You can open them now. best show in the world. I smell trouble. You're right about that. You're not going to like what you're about to find behind this door. You see, the world we created has one peculiarity. It's alive. Alive? What does that mean? It means that we only lay its foundation, but it keeps developing by itself. If I controlled every bit of this world, there would not be any sense in its existence. Not everything in it is as beautiful as what we saw earlier. But of course, you are completely impartial, like a true creator. That's right, and I'm proud of it. How else can it be? This is a prison, just great. The best manifestation of life. There are a lot of cells here, judging by how many digits there are in the numbers. That's putting it mildly. Oh yes, there are many cells and many prisoners. Their name is Legion. Let's take a look in one of them. I believe there is an open one on the level above. 
I'm not sure I'd want that. Want it or not, we'll have to. That's our job, my friend. So enthusiastic. I bet he won't go far. All jokes aside, do you see what he is doing? Watch closely. If you look at his precious screen, you can see that there's another one exactly like him. He's being forced to an electric chair, fed by the energy they're generating with all this relentless pedaling. And every one of them knows that sooner or later, they too will be dragged there and fried in that very chair. Why are you telling me this? Did you forget it was me who brought these memories from reality? That's exactly what life I'm living is like, while you are sitting around here in your oblivion. Oh, come on. Calm down, will you? Let's go. The show must go on, you know. What a loathsome place. What are we gonna see up there? You've probably guessed already, haven't you? That same chair. Yeah, apart from that, there's basically nothing else here. Where is the immortal soul in this body? See this white smiling piece of porcelain nearby? That's a soul substitute. It is more than enough, as you can see. Enough for what? For a crazy show like this? That's even too much. Here's our new lucky boy! Thousands of eyes are glued to the screen right now, all full of envy! Are you ready for your 15 minutes of fame? This vanity fair... Is there another way to get out of here? Forget about it. No, no. There's gotta be another way. Again, I'm sorry, but there's no other way. Sit. What? What the heck? No. No! I don't want to go back there again. There has to be another way. Stop him!
Where are we now? I know it was hard. That's why we made a deal a long time ago. Where are we, you're asking? Let's take a walk again. You'll see. It'll all end soon, I promise. Time seems to have stopped here. You're quite right. Especially for you. Time here is particularly significant. Never ends. Another manifestation of life. Perhaps the most important one. It's not that some armies keep clashing on mythical battlefields. It's just that everyone wants to get higher and crush as many as possible, destroying everyone and everything on their way. Yeah, yes. Perpetuum mobile, don't you think? True perpetual motion of the universe. No more, no less. No way. Are you trying to say that people are driven to make new discoveries just because they want to dominate the world? No. They only want to trample everything they didn't create. Anything that stands on their way while they try and conquer the world. Keep talking. The real force of progress is curiosity. It's the desire to develop and complicate the world. These two stories are easily confused, however, someone else's curiosity can also become one of the weapons in this war. Do you think there can be one without the other? I haven't seen anything like this, but I hope. What choice do I have? What about them? Did anyone ever get to the top? To the Oracle? No, of course not. What would be the point of keeping something like this then? What a weird thought. Oh well. Are you trying to say that we're being treated differently here? You may say so, yes. But to be honest, I hardly find it attractive. At least it's fun down here. But what's up there? So you get to the top. Have all your questions answered? What next? Here we go again. It's as if there's nothing else apart from this slaughterhouse down there and the oracle at the top. That's how it seems sometimes.
She's beautiful, isn't she? Almost perfect. So, this is the Oracle, I suppose. Now I'll gain some access to some forbidden knowledge. Of course you will. Come closer. After all, you've reached the top. Sorry, I'm not being completely honest. The knowledge you came here for is no secret for those fighting down there. You're also initiated. Then why all this? Why this endless carnage? That's a good question. I've been wondering too. You see, this knowledge is so scorching hot that no one really wants to see it for what it is. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Everyone wants to reach the top and ask me about their future. It is that fear of the unknown that leaves people with an impression that they know their future. Future made from wind and ashes, something called power, control, and a thousand other words. See which knowledge you are talking about. Death? No. It's too abstract a word. You're talking about obliviating everything we can call ourselves. That's right. Each of those people is so eager to stick to who they are, and at the same time inevitably losing their identity. Simply because this is life. What about pain? Isn't it the desire to shield yourself from it forever that makes people subdue everything around them? Build walls? Walls are made from someone else's pain? No. Pain is an integral part of life. Any change in personality, however small, is pain. And there's only one way to get rid of it. You already mentioned it. Oblivion. Now the Master is ready to ask you his question. He's waiting. So, you've come to the end. It is time to ask the question. I'm ready. You may ask. You already know what I want to hear. Either that, or you remember it. Come on, say it yourself. Of course I know. Or maybe I remembered. You want to know if I'm ready to be born again, and live another life. Yes, there it is, the crossroads. What do you want to do this time? Erase your identity? Regenerate? Be born again and relive all that inspiration and all the pain life gives us? Or have you had enough of going around in circles and now all you want is peace and quiet? What do you think? What would you rather choose? After all, you can't live without me. We were inseparable. Don't you remember? Your wish is my wish too. Life we created has become unbearable. It's time to leave it be. No more. No more of it. I'm staying. Well then, the throne is yours. Have a seat, Master.
past altars and stages, past temples and taverns, past classy graveyards, past street markets jabber, past peace and past woe, past Mecca and Rome, burned by the sun's blue glow, the earth, the pilgrims, Rome. They're heavily injured and hunchbacked. They're hungry and almost naked. Their eyes are full of sunset. Their hearts are full of daybreak. The deserts are singing behind them. Sheet lightning breaks out abruptly. Up above, the stars are igniting. And birds are screaming gruffly that the world will remain the same. Yes, indeed the same. Dazzling with snowy game, with fondness its unlikely name. The world will remain underhanded. The world will remain forever. Perhaps it can be comprehended. It has no limits, however. Which means it will make no sense to believe in yourself or Lord. And the things that remain are hence the illusion and the road. All sunsets remain in service. All daybreaks are still in splendor. The soldier will muck Earth's surface. The poet will be its defender.